Hey everyone, I am back for another quick round of thrifting. We are at one of my favorite uh, value villages and we're going to see what we can find quickly in the home decor section. I only have about a half an hour and maybe hit up some clothes. I have um, an event coming up that I need to find an outfit for. So let's get in there. Wish me luck. I've got my trusty 20% off coupon. So let's go and see what we can find. So I found another wine rack, $6.99, and it looks like it has all of its gold detailing. So I'm gonna pick this up, it's in really good shape. This one's going in the cart. Quick intro if this is your first time joining us. My name is Anne and I'm a vintage home decor reseller, mainly on Etsy. We also are on Instagram at bluehousevintage.yyc if you wanna check us out over there. So in today's video, I'm going to take you to two value villages and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what I recently got at an estate sale. So stay tuned. So this I'm definitely going to pick up. It's a bit expensive, but it's solid brass. Kind of neat, grass bird cage. That's definitely coming home. This one needs a lot of cleaning, but it's really cool. I like the design on it. I'm gonna get this. I'm really tempted to get this. I'm so tempted. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna think about it. These are pretty. $3.99 for three. I have to look these up to see. These are also pretty. $4.99 for four. So I'm gonna look these up. Four bucks. Mm, I could give me the pass on this one. What do you guys think of this tapestry throw blanket? I ended up getting it, I couldn't resist it. I've never gotten an animal one before. 
but other tapestry blankets have always sold for me. So what do you guys think? Was that a pick or a pass? Let me know in the comments. Okay, you guys, so this is what I got. I'm back at my car and <laughs> it's so hot out, but I'm gonna quickly show you what I picked up. I ended up getting these glasses, which I need to research more, but apparently they're rare and valuable. So I got a set of three. I got up this uh, stick for picking cardboard boxes to ship things. Because uh, when I was at the dumpster last, it broke. Um, and I got another wine rack. So I'm happy with that. Those seem to always sell. Um, I have one in the shop right now and then one other one. So I guess this is the third that I have. And I've sold at least two or three of them. And then I got this set of pillar, brass pillar. Candle holders. They're huge. Like, crazy. Really happy. Got this. And then I'm super happy about the bird cage. Let me know what you guys think of that one. Would you have <clears throat> got this as well for $6.99? Let me know. So that's the haul. And then I also got that tapestry blanket with the um, tiger, cheetah, some type of large cat. And I'm gonna sell that as well. And yeah, that's the haul. So kind of cool. You never know what you're gonna find. So. Hopefully you're not scared by the sight of my the back of my car. <laughs> and I'm gonna wrap all these up and drive home. Second stop of this video is another value village here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So let's go and see what we can find. Apologies for the way that this was filmed. I actually thought I was in landscape. I don't know what I was doing, but I thought I was in landscape mode, but I was in portrait mode. And if any of you have ever put together a YouTube video, you'll know that it just doesn't work if your camera isn't flipped the right way. So this is the footage that I got. So I'm gonna share it with you anyway. I found a cool, few cool items, but this value bill just always overpriced so i only ever take something that if i really really like it because i just find that it's the most um, expensive value village in our city in calgary and you'll see soon what i ended up choosing I am back in the car and I only end up getting two things. Um, but <laughs> look at this, look at this picture, this vase. It's like, I'm trying to show you like how big this thing is. It's massive. I can't even get it all in the camera. It's from the 1970s, Arnell's uh, vase. I'm trying to show it to you, but it's like impossible. <laughs> And I got it uh, for $8.99. The prices in this value village are really high. You'll see in the next item. Okay, here's the next item. This is, it was $12.99. So it was pretty expensive for what I typically pick up. But look how beautiful this tray is. So I decided to give it a shot. And I picked it up for $12.99. So only two things today, but they're both quite cool. So there you go. So here's some things that I got at the estate sale. This uh, copper teapot. It's like got some dents and patina, but I think that's part of the, the charm. And it has the uh, blue and white uh, ceramic handle. And these have been selling really well on my Etsy shop. Every time I put one in there, it sells. This one has a Taiwan stamp on it. 
and uh, I got all this for $15. I, I should have looked at the plates a little bit more before I got them because there's quite a bit of like knife damage on them. I don't know if you can see it there, but, but I was in such a rush. I just like spotted them and I just grabbed them and they're mine now. So they're, they're very pretty made in Japan. It's just too bad that there's so much um, surface damage. But so beautiful. And the last thing that I got um, kind of reminded, reminded me of Pyrex, obviously, but it's not. It's, um, what is it called? Made in England. J something. If you can see that there. But apparently they're quite collectible and valuable. So this was a really good find. And I just mainly love the pattern. It's really pretty. So let me know what you think of the estate sale finds. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the thrifting and I hope this inspires you to head out to your local thrift store. As always, uh, let us know what was your favorite item in the comments and we will see you for the next video. Thanks again for the support. Subscribe to the channel if you love thrifting and want to see more similar content and bye for now.